In this quick overview, I will share how to access SpeedGrader and use SpeedGrader's annotation tools to comment on student papers. One fast way to access SpeedGrader is by clicking on the link to an assignment a student has submitted. Another way is to find an assignment you want to comment on in the Assignments tab. Clicking on the assignment will take you to um, a screen with an option to open SpeedGrader. Once inside SpeedGrader, there are a few tools I recommend uh, using right off the bat. One is to click on uh, this list of students' names. Um, clicking on this link, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to show you my students, uh, but clicking on this link will show you names that are um, grayed out. Those are students who haven't submitted the assignment yet. You'll see names with a um, green check mark next to them. That's uh, a, a paper you've already graded and uh, names with an orange circle next to it, which are papers you either haven't graded yet or um, that students have resubmitted. Um, this gives you a quick uh, sense of, of who you might want to reach out to, um, either because they haven't submitted a paper or um, because you need to follow up um, on a resubmission. Um, some of the tools that are very helpful for annotating um, can be accessed here. Um, one of them is the uh, uh, marker annotation tool. So this gives you um, a marker you can put anywhere in the text. Um, uh, uh, you can change the colors of the marker. And if you like, you can leave a comment uh, uh, in, in the margins. Okay, So this might be a way to draw attention to a specific space. Um, if you would like to draw attention to large space, um, you can use the um, area annotation tool. This allows you to draw a box around um, a certain segment. Again, you can select a color if you have a, a, a method of um, color coding your comments. You can also highlight uh, a single sentence or a lot of sentences or a word. Um, again, you can select color to highlight. And if you like, you can highlight only or you can highlight and leave a margin comment. You can also type uh, text right into the space. And if uh, this fits with your pedagogy, you can also uh, use the strike through feature. And I recommend when typing, um, this box, this frame sometimes gets placed in awkward, placed awkwardly at first. Uh, it's better to type out what you want to say and then later on move it to the, the best location. Um, so for example, if you started typing and it was right on top of text, uh, I found instead of trying to fidget with it while you're typing, just finish the comment and then move it to uh, a space where it's visible. Uh, the next feature, uh, and the last one I'm going to demonstrate in terms of um, uh, annotation uh, tools is the draw feature. I am not very good at drawing, so um, I have never used this before, but you may be much better at it than I am, so uh, enjoy. <laughs> uh, the other important um, tools that are available to us in SpeedGrader are the assignment comment. Um, this is a space where you can leave an overview comment. And what I really like about this is that students have the exact same box on their side of Canvas. And so right below your comment, your assignment comment, they will have a box that they can type into. And when they click submit, it uh, lives right below the comment that you've submitted. So you can have a conversation in this space, um, um, which I find to be very productive. Um, the last uh, 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 comment tools that I'll share are um, located here. One of them is a option to attach a file as a comment. So if you have recorded feedback or if you have um, handwritten feedback and scanned that in, you can attach that uh, to this space for the student to view. Um, you can also use media tools. Um, you can, this won't show because I'm using a screencast tool, but there will be an option to use a microphone or to use your web camera. And so you can give um, more personalized feedback um, um, using that option. One final thing of note uh, that's not an annotation tool, but it can make your life a lot easier, um, are these tools uh, to zoom in or to zoom out um, when leaving feedback. Uh, as you leave margin comments, this window will adjust and sometimes it can be difficult to see the text. So this will allow you to get back close and or to see uh, more at one time. And um, 
this button is especially helpful to share with students. This is the full screen mode. Um, when students view feedback in S S SpeedGrader, Canvas places that feedback in a window inside of a window, so it's very small and awkward to, um, to, to utilize. But if students click this full screen button, um, they'll be able to see their paper, your annotations, and your markings.